Hello all, myself Suresh Kumar. This is our 18th class. In this class, we will discuss about uh, UART communication. UART is a serial communication, it's, like, it's called a TTL communication. Uh, you can uh, uh, communicate with a processor and between, you can communicate with between processors and uh, two process, other processors, or you can communicate with between processors and uh, your computers. In this class, I will uh, explain about uh, what kind of protocols are there and, and uh, uh, how the UART are, UART are working. Uh, in this class, we will discuss about it. this. Here, I write the code and now I am going to design that uh, hardware in simulator. Here I write, I creating a, a, a processor a, for hardware for serial communication. I just uh, put in my car system ads and this OK. Then go to uh, type com, pin, com physical port. I just click it and save it. And then um, transmission also going to tx going to tx and r going to rx okay um, and we need to configure it this is com1 and set com2 com2 and baud rate is setting to 9600 this is a default and parity bit is uh, physical parity is none uh, data physical data bits is 8 it's byte, one byte, and uh, virtual parity is uh, it set to default. Uh, uh, you just change that uh, bar rate 9600 and click OK. Uh, now, this port is COM2. Uh, this is virtual COM port, so you can use this uh, virtual COM port for serial communication. And another one, uh, because I in my laptop, I doesn't have. PCA COM port, uh, serial COM port, DB9 connector uh, doesn't have it. So that's why I'm I'm creating a uh, 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 virtual COM port. So uh, we need an another one software for creating a virtual COM port. And I can uh, access the COM port from uh, another software like Arduino wiring or CCC compiler have a serial IO port. So I can access from the uh, software. To control that uh, simulator microcontrollers okay i will uh, show it uh, right up right now i'm going to install that software i think here it is bspm virtual com port virtual com port where it is where it is mm. i have run the virtual terminal Ah, here it is. Uh, it is name for uh, virtual terminal. Uh, set up BSP virtual serial port emulator. Just click OK and then click next. Next, install it. It's installing. Yeah, it's installing right now. It's installing. Yeah, it's installing. Installed. Hit OK. And then we can get the PSP input here. Uh, and do you want to license me? So, no. The system with license. It's OK. It's enabling. I'm not an issue. Uh, just create a com port. I will create a com port for virtually. Make it pair. Go to next. Com. I'm my com port is uh, four and virtual com port is two. Uh, okay. Bar it bit. That's a default. It's a default and it is connected. 
paint. Restore window. Okay. okay, it's working. It's working now. It's uh, still alive. Still alive. Uh, then uh, you can right now. You can here it is. Uh, you need, ah, sorry. I need to. Uh, I save it mm, and then close it and come back again. Come to Tortoise VSM. I uh, just take it uh, the design file in our MP lab ID. Mm. Uh, just save it and click it OK. And run it again. And just press it. Uh, right now uh, we got serial port 4. We select serial port 4. It is connected. Then I am going to type H, capital H, and send it. Yeah, it is switched on, and I will send an L. The L is switched off. Uh, I will show it again. Uh, I will close it again. Stop it. And I will connect an LED with this for better appearance. Appearance here. I connected an LED. Uh, now I will. I just. Just write the code and uh, run it. Uh, now you can see the all the uh, uh, lights. All the lines are uh, uh, glowing uh, blue. Uh, and now I am taking Arduino for sending the serial data to this processor. Uh, this uh, uh, serial comport virtual comport is alerted by alerted uh, by uh, virtual. Uh, serial port emulator in this port virtual serial port emulator uh, the com port is 2 for this uh, uh, device and then I am uh, selecting com 4 for my uh, sending command the serial monitor this is my serial monitor now I am sending D uh, caps D see what will happen I just click enter doesn't uh, glowing if I send I if I send I it doesn't glowing. If I send H capital H, yeah, it's glowing. The uh, city now uh, I will send a H L capital L. See what will happen. See what will happen. Mm, this my Arduino and this my. I am sending L to, to this processor. Yeah, it's uh, low. It's, it's switch off. I'm again send H. Again send L. Again send H. Again send L. Again send H. Again send L. Uh, so in this case, uh, the software is different. Uh, I can control from my computer to the microprocessor through this UART communication or TTL communication. It has only two pins, three pins, uh, TX and RX. TX means transmission, RX means receiving and ground. Uh, we need a three pins to uh, communicate uh, between my computer and uh, that processors or uh, our uh, target uh, board. Uh, this is serial communication. Uh, just go, go through it and uh, you can study about this doesn't close it. Yeah. This is Arduino. Uh, you can study uh, study about this. Mm. Um, uh, if you have any doubts, you can uh, mail me. Don't hesitate. Uh, we will uh, talk about in next class uh, in with another topic. Mm, thank you very much for watching and please subscribe my, my channel thank you